today is really not much different than the other day in your journeys together, is it? But yet, it's a very important point of departure. From here on, you do not travel alone. From here on, you go on as one. Today, you move that infinitesimal step from being a couple to being a husband and a wife. From here on, you also become a single thing inside of an entity known as marriage. And all that's going to go on in your married lives, you need to remember how much you love each other. Use that love as a basis for your marriage so that when life deals you poorly, you'll return to each other's for love, support, and comfort. And when life treats you richly, you will turn towards each other and celebrate together in that same love. And God in these stories gave uh, a guideline on four characteristics that we're to look for in our best friends that I think are very much uh, emphasized in Miles and I's relationship. Uh, the first characteristic was a good best friend is someone who's there for you when you need them. The second characteristic is someone who is uh, willing to fight battles for you. The third characteristic was someone who's willing to make sacrifices for you. And obviously, anyone who knows Miles knows that he makes sacrifices not only for his country on a daily basis, but for his family, his friends, people that love him, people that know him. Uh, the, the fourth thing is someone who worships with you. So again, Miles, thank you. We know w what you're willing to do for us. And again, it's part of why I'm up here. You're my best friend and brother. I've always felt responsible for her. I wanted to protect her from everything. Growing up, I always tried to keep her safe by my side. For a while, she was so much smaller than me, but then she grew and grew. And the next thing I knew, we weren't little girls anymore. I don't think I surprise anyone when I say that I love my sister. She is worthy of all the love in the world, and I'm beyond thrilled that she has found that in Miles. They are so much like each other and so perfectly matched. I know Miles will take care of her and that Anna will take care of him. So, chosen by God for this new life of love, dress in the wardrobe God picked out for you, compassion, kindness, humility, quiet strength, discipline. Be even-tempered, content with second place, quick to forgive an offense, quickly forgive as quickly and completely as the Master forgave you. And regardless of what else you put on, wear love. It's your basic, all-purpose garment. Never be without it. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God to celebrate with reverence, honor, the joining of these two in one in marriage. As an affirmation of worth and the beauty of their love, Anna and Miles shall before you this day pledge themselves to each other in holy matrimony, weaving their lives together until the end of their days, never to be parted. I, Anna, take you, Miles, to be my husband, <laughs> 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 to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer in sickness and in health, to love and cherish, until death do we part. I, Miles, take you, Anna, to be my wife, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish, until death do we part. For as much as you have made your vows each to the other, declared the same by the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce you to be husband and wife. Remember yesterday? You should kiss each other. Miles, 
I was a little skeptical. I still felt like the overprotective big sister, and sometimes I still do. But quickly I learned that Miles was the real deal, and I'm glad that she's found such a wonderful person to spend the rest of her life with. When Anna finally introduced us to Miles, I was a little worried. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he would think we were too big of a family or we would scare him away. <laughs> but he was brave and fitted right in. <laughs> and now I can proudly say that he is one of us. But my challenge to you two is to remember these four characteristics, uh, hone them, um, communicate your expectations and your love for one another make sacrifices for each other, be there for each other when each other needs them. Uh, because not only now are you getting a new spouse, you're getting a new best friend. So I guess it's our job to say, congratulations, congratulations. on your wedding day. Dear sis, you're a fun gal, but lucky for us, you're Miles' problem now. <laughs> With simple songs I wanted more Perfection is so quick to bore You are more beautiful by far Our flaws are who we really are